Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. This is my last episode for now with my friend Ron Wixo. If you haven't watched any of these podcasts yet, Ron is a drummer and he's toured with Cher, Foreigner, Richie Sambora, David Lee Roth, the Steve Miller Band, The Storm, Creedence Clearwater Revisited, Eddie Money, Greg Raleigh, and Player with Peter Beckett and Ron Moss. He really is a good guy. I hope you enjoyed all of his reactions. This was a little tough. It was like... What do I plan? We wanted to do one more track. So I gave him some options and he selected Wren. He had never heard of Wren. He had never heard of the other options either, but uh, he thought it'd be interesting to hear somebody from the UK. We had just done a few Japanese accents. So that's where the, that's where the toss up went, man. So I selected Money Game 3. I think it's a really awesome piece of work. And so we'll jump in this together and you can see what Ron thought. So uh, let's jump into this. And let's see what we got. If you haven't watched any of the other interviews that I did with him and you're interested in knowing more about him, you can learn about him at ronwixo.com or you can check out an interview I did with him last year with his buddy Matt Bissonette. Okay, so this is Ren. I was told about Ren through a friend of mine and she sent me a text message like, you got to check this guy out. And it was a different video. It's a video called Hi Ren. And I was just mesmerized. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Well, since then... Uh, he's he's really become more popular and more popular and more popular, so much so that he has the number one album in the UK right now. So it's kind of cool for this this young dude. So anyway, this was his is his newest release, and uh, I like it. So you can let me know what you think. Okay. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, gimme Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly Four years old he was running round the pavements of his city Five years old and his daddy told him Listen here son, you gotta learn to be a man 
A man he works for what he wants Six years old and he's reading writing Top of the bunch And when he's seven His regression made him student number one Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades Nine His parents pay for private school to nurture the flame Ten Eleven, twelve, thirteen He ascends and ascends His daddy tells him son Money is the means to all ends Fourteen Solving complex mathematic equations At fifteen IQ 150 Still elevating Sixteen He developed Develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. 17 and he sells his vision, keeping the share. Not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18 and his daddy tells him, Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19 he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20 double down deposits. 21 his income rockets. 22 he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data then the lie will sell itself 23 a life of luxury crystal and cocaine 24 he makes the Forbes list they're applauding his name 25 and his daddy tells him listen here son while you're sitting in that palace that don't mean that you won 26 a business shift he switches business to arms he's 27 dealing nuclear and shells in Iran 28 inside the Senate money bought him a seat he's 29 a role of counsel in the president suite now he's 30 he's Daddy says you're losing the race You're just a servant to the king Not even in second place 31 a big manoeuvre for his daddy's approval Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba 32 moving grams growing kilos to tons He's 33 filling warehouses with powder and guns 34 turf war with nobody to stop it Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Bears your father had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six. Getting pissed off, abusing his product. Thirty-seven. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. Thirty-eight. With a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. Thirty-nine. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy He was 40 and he cursed the words Mine, mine, gimme 41 he wasn't walking 42 not walking quickly 43 never running round the pavements of his city 44 inside a palace with a mountain of gold But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need And his example is exaggerated versions of me And it's a version of him And it's a version of she And it's a version of you There's no escaping the blame The way we live is parasitic Fuck the money and fame Call the music This isn't entertainment, this is real life. The way we live is lunacy, community, it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention, politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas, did I mention? Borders an invention, law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other? My solution?
Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consume till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking the game. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. Heavy, but what did you think? Wow. It seemed more like a play than a song to me. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's deep and heavy is right. Um, like you said, he's number one. And it makes me wonder, like, how they play that song on the radio. There's so many dead spaces <laughs> in between it, you know. I would but, think that's not one of the ones that are playing it. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. And then... It's really, I mean, the video is really well done. The story is is uh, intense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it is a little depressing. I'm not sure if I'd listen to it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. But I mentioned when I watched it for the first time was uh, the storytellers, the wonderful storytellers. So um, yeah. I was a big fan of Harry Chapin, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's it, definitely got away with describing stuff and you know having that whole rhythmic thing to the way he describes it and all the rhymes and stuff it's all it's all really well done yeah it's uh, all right a little, little heavy for me probably but but you know really well done really well done so i played you a ton of music <laughs> and of Me all too. of the bands that i played you what would be the band that you would select to listen to the next track from? Who, who would it be? Oh, man. Uh, how many did we listen to? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, we went through a lot. I can remind you of some of them if you like. I would right? say probably the Mexican band. Oh, cool. So that band's called The Warning. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It was, uh, you know, they all sang great. They all played great. Uh, yeah, I think I like that one. I mean, they were all good for different reasons, you know? Sure. Um, and, of course, the, if I was just going about the drumming, you know, being a drummer, you mm -hmm. know, some of those were unbelievable, you know, just strictly from a drumming standpoint, you know, the, the, the skill it takes to be able to do that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at how many great, players there are out there now it didn't yeah. used to be like that and uh i think uh you know it, there's a certain thing about being able to do things and a distinction between that and being musical you know mm -hmm. and that of course depends on the music you're, you're playing you know so that so what they're all doing in the stuff that we listen to today was right for those songs um, but wouldn't be right for other types of songs, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm always impressed with guys who are able to navigate different um, genres really well, you know. Uh, you, you're familiar with Vinnie Colaiuta, right? I am, yeah. Yeah, so Vinnie's one of those guys, and there's several guys who can, you know, can play really appropriately regardless of the kind of music he's doing. And he does a wide range of stuff, you know, everything from Faith Hill to Frank Zappa to Megadeth, you know, to you name it, he's played with Sting, you know. And I, I'm really impressed with that kind of uh, versatility too, you know. Sure. So there's there's so many things out there that that uh, 
I could listen all day long to guys and be impressed by them. <laughs> yeah. Know? And that's I'm a just... wonderful thing for me. It gives me life. It gives me hope. Yeah. Yeah. And... I'm just grateful to be in the game at whatever level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we're grateful to have you in the game. And uh, we all look forward to seeing Steve Miller soon. Hopefully that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I know there's a bunch of stuff they're booking for next year. Some of it I can't talk about because they haven't announced it yet but uh and then we got a few shows next month down in the southeast so yeah it's gonna be great Woo! cool well thank you for your time you gave me a lot of it today and i appreciate it and uh hopefully some of these bands are bands that you'd want to explore more but uh it was fun yeah. yeah thanks for having me man cool all right have a great evening you too <laughs> <laughs> Hi to all the Joel Miller podcast fans out there. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> all right, man. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>